What's up guys, Josh here, and I am actually giving you a breakdown of my current powerlifting split that I'm doing. Um, this wraps up my first week of training. This was nine weeks out training-wise, ten weeks total till the meet. So as you can see here, I lay out my daily split where I start off with deads, go into bench, go into squats, take an off day, then I go into reverse band bench, reverse band deadlifts, and then on day seven, I am actually supposed to do um, reverse band squats those days, but this week I didn't do so because I was feeling sick, so I took it off, and um, yeah, so I kind of just skipped those, but next week I'll get caught back up with everything. So as you can see, I got my estimated maxes here. I'm basing everything off of those for my meat. Um, my squat max is in wraps, however, um, I'm still hitting the numbers right now without wraps, although next week I am going to start adding those back in. So... Um, as you can, or as you saw, I have the breakdown for my week. So, weeks one through three of training, my big compound lifts. I'm going to focus on heavy fives. Weeks four through five, I'm going to move into heavy tri heavy triples. Week six, I'm going to move into doubles, and then week seven through nine, I'm going to focus on singles. I'm spending three weeks doing heavy singles because I have I struggle the hardest with that. Um, truthfully, I'm really good at three, fives, and sevens. Um, if you give me reps, I'm really good at cranking them out and getting them prettier as they go. However, when it comes to singles, I have to get perfect because that's all I'm allowed to in competition. But overall, this week of training went great despite me not feeling well all week. I'm pretty sure I had like bronchitis or something as my lungs were just full of a bunch of nonsense. I have a terrible cough. But overall, um, I hit all my numbers, all my progressions and stuff. So next week, I'm really excited to be pumping or pushing my numbers higher and practicing in light wraps with my squats and starting getting used to those as it is a different technique overall um, squatting and wraps versus not as you really have to make sure you hit depth because whenever you get down in the hole whenever you're wearing the um, tight wraps it, it gets pretty hard and you know as somebody like myself who typically squats at parallel have to really make sure I break parallel for competition in order for it to count um, Going back to the main screen, um, as you can see, well, I'm squatting here. This is my 575 for five. Um, my, my estimated max is bench. I'd like 415, squat 17, and deadlift 650. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a weight cut or not for the meat yet. Depends on where I sit after Christmas. But I might drop down to 198 or just stay where I'm at and compete in the 220 weight class. And I sit about 210 pounds right now, but... Um, I truthfully don't think I'll gain any weight over Christmas, so I might just end up cutting down to 198 for the day, drop some water or whatever. But um, this was actually my first time doing these reverse band deadlifts. Um, I really like them. Right when you get about there, shit gets heavy, and the bands stop helping completely, and you really have to just focus on driving through the hips. That's typically my hardest part of the deadlift is driving through from that point. So this just kind of helps me get get through that and um really work on that uh, sticking point. The reason why I don't do a block pull or a rack deadlift is because this actually gets me just still pulling from the floor, but just aids me up into the spot where I need it to and just getting used to the overall movement. As far as accessory work and stuff goes, um, I'm still pumping in a good bit of accessory. So usually two to three uh, main movements for say like deadlifts, I'll do two or three back exercises and then like one bicep and one rear delt. Following, um, same thing with chest, usually like two exercises and then like uh, one or two shoulders and then one for triceps. Kind of just doing a push-pull legs routine for the most part, except for my last squat day, which um, instead of hitting complete legs again, I'll focus mostly on hamstrings and also move into shoulders with that as well, as shoulders are a weak point. And I am still competing in bodybuilding this upcoming year, so I want to make sure I am bringing up those weak points as well. But powerlifting is giving me a nice little change of routine. This is a very unconventional style training program as I am only going up with one top set per exercise. However, I like that. I feel better that way, and if I continue to do tons of top sets with max weight, I just start to fall apart and break. And plus, there's truly, I mean, even literature, or even in the literature, no real benefit to adding that much extra volume. So that's kind of where I'm at with everything. Um, hope you guys enjoy, and I will be doing a recap with more videos, better quality, um, next week with my training. So thanks for watching, guys.